Let's look at how we can make a histogram on Excel for Mac. To make a histogram, we need to start off with a frequency table. A histogram is pretty much like a bar chart, except having individual bars that are uh, in our chart, they're going to be connected into somewhat of a smooth fashion. So we're going to make it in, a, in the same way that we're going to make it a bar chart, but we're going to change a few things. Now here we have our frequency table that we're going to start off from. And if you need to know how to create a frequency table, there's another video for that. But what we want to do is we want to click inside the frequency table and highlight, select all the information with shift and the arrow keys. So I'm going to select all of what we want. I don't want the grand total and I don't want the uh, uh, the titles. Um, I'm going to go to uh, insert and we're going to go to this bar chart figure here, the column chart. And we're going to select the first one and it will create a beginning of a histogram. Right now it's still a bar chart. Let's choose, let's change a few things. So we want, let's change the title so we know what we're talking about. So let's change the, click, double click on it. And we're going to change the, delete the current title. And we're going to change it to histogram of employees, uh, employ, the age of employees age. Okay, so that'll be the title there. Now, we need to get these bars. Let's double click on one of the bars and we see that there's a gap width. Let's remove the gap. And there we've got our histogram. Now, but it, it doesn't look kind of funny. It's, it's blue with a little gray. Let's change some of those lines there. So if, uh, um, actually, let's choose this paint bucket up here go to borders and let's change the let's see why can we not okay that's now we can see things better let's change the color to black now i've got black lines there let's make them a little bit lot wider how about one and a half points there we can see them pretty good there and now we can see the the parts of the histogram a lot better so we can close that now so we've got a, uh, the employee the age of the employees uh, we're gonna have a histogram. now let's actually label our axes so let's go to add chart elements and we need to add axis titles the primary horizontal one is down here and we're going to put age of employees because if we don't label the axes people can't read the graph very easily and that that looks good now we need the vertical axis title so we go to add chart elements we're under we're in chart design here we're going to go to add chart element axes title primary vertical and we're going to put our cursor in there delete the current there and we can put uh we just call it count or frequency and that'll that indicates the the count the number in each category now something else especially in histograms you might want to have each bin equal width so remember how we had changed this from this this bin's really 10 to 19 but it said that kind of looks like child labor so we changed it to 18 to 19 since everybody in this bin was 19 anyway we could change it back and the way we do is not on the chart we go back to our original table and i'm going to change this from 18 to 10 to 19 and that will change on the chart too so now we have a histogram of employees age where it shows the count and the age of employees. And it's very easy to read and see we've got a normal distribution maxing out for people in the 30s and the 40s. So these are young people still uh, trying to get their first job and experience. And these are people that are starting to retire. So it gives us a good idea of how the, the ages are distributed in this company.